That last train was uh, a little packed. Buenos dias, amigos, from Mexico City. Today we're meeting up with Luis. <laughs> Only yeah. can say yes in Spanish. Yes. I mean English. Yeah. No, yes. he can speak really good English. Uh, yeah. Today he is showing us around Mexico City, but one of the most important things that we are excited about is how to learn to use the Metro bus and the Metro. So first step is to get a Metro card, which you can only buy above ground at the Metro bus stations. You cannot get the actual card underground at the Metro station. Is that correct? Yes. <laughs> Okay, we got our card. I'm glad we have our amigo Luis because I'm not sure we would have been able to do it. But I think the actual plastic card cost 10 pesos. Uh, then, so we put in 20 and we had 10 credit. Uh, so we put in another 20. So now we have 30 pesos credit. Every person does not need their own Metro card. You can all swipe it and then hand it back to Greg. And every trip on the Metro to get on the Metro costs 16 pesos, Yeah, I think. <laughs> So I think the important takeaway I had was you can't get the card down in the subway like yes, you can in New York up, City. Get it above ground. Because in New York City, I know you can. That's the yeah. only other subway station I've used. That's get the it only above reason. Ground and but then once you're once you're down below, you can put more you money can add on more it. Money on your card anywhere. Okay, perfect. I think we are we leaving anything out, Luis? Yes. <laughs> and now that we have our card, we are on our way to the metro station. We're ready to metro. Ready to metro. Card. However, you can also buy a metro ticket. So you can just buy a one-time ticket underground. Uh, you have to wait in line, and I think it's just a one-time ticket, and that only works on the metro and not the metro bus. So we went with the card. It's good for the bus and the metro, and you don't have to wait in lines because you just load money onto this. And about the colors? And uh, it works similar to any other bus system. I'm sorry, uh, Train, metro system yeah. we've used in the color-coded. So uh, right now we're in the blue line, and there's blue everywhere. So it's pretty easy to tell that we're along the blue line, so we're gonna go look at a map. Is there anything we're forgetting? No. Yes. Okay, again, I think this works how most metros work, but we've never lived in a big city, so we're learning the ropes today, but it basically works how you think, so you just get on and go towards the final destination. That's how you know which way you're going. So give going. them an example, tell so them what we're we about to, to do. Learn, uh, we are going to go, we are at Hidalgo, uh -huh. and we're going to go to Buena Vista. Okay. So we're gonna go, uh, we're gonna get on this brown line towards Indios Verdes. I want the Indios Verdes. Train. And then we're gonna get off at Guerrero, and then we're going to switch trains to this green gray line uh -huh. towards the Buena Vista stop, okay. which happens to be the last stop. Yeah. So, I think we can do it. I'm always paranoid about getting getting on the train going the wrong, wrong way. way. So I think it's easiest to know just the last. Know the first and last so, would be helpful. Yeah, we got a lot of studying to do. The next tidbit that's very important is uh, at every stop, I guess it's sectioned off in that small little section back there. By the orange cones, it's I just pointed out. Only for women and children under 12, so. Well, we're like not just people under 12 that are female. <laughs> <laughs> not women under 12, I'm sorry. <laughs> women and children. That happen that are to be. Also, wait. <laughs> Whatever, you guys understand. Children under 12 and all females. There's a, all, there's a women and that children only. For the time being, I shall require only women and children. Bars for yes. them, because apparently can get packed body to body, very crushed. So, Greg's not gonna take, we're not gonna take that one today. We're gonna take the uh, main line with everyone else. The next thing is you can learn the, these are the names of the stops, and they also have symbols. So, that's another easy so way to So we're learn. getting off at the Guerrero stop, and so you can either listen to or watch for maybe Guerrero or watch for the symbol as well. So I think this is a pretty, uh, this is something, I don't think they have this in New York. So I think this is like one extra thing that makes it easier to navigate. For a tourist that's not working here in Mexico City, what would you say is uh, the best and worst times to use the subway to avoid crowds? Well, our rush hours, uh, early in the morning from 7 a.m. to 9 a.m. Okay. It's the time that we go to work and the school, uh -huh. so it's always very busy in the metro. But, uh, 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 and, the, and then in the afternoon, uh -huh. between 6 and 8 p.m., okay. It's a, that's a, that's a war, that's a nightmare. Oh, uh, okay, between Power six and eight. For use so, so middle of the day is not too bad then? No. How would you say, how does it, how is it right now compared to like, is this busy for you? Is this like pretty light? What, how is this compared? Well, now it's, 
very light. Okay. But it could be very busy. Could be, could be busy. They, the train that just left looked like it had a, quite a bit of people on it, but you said there's Boy and Fiend going on, like Mexicans Black Friday type shopping. <laughs> Now we're following signs that say Correspondencia Buena Vista. That's basically like the uh, transfer, the connecting. It's connecting us to the next, uh, the next line that we need to take towards uh, Buena Vista. What are your thoughts on the, the system? Let's start off by like cleanliness. How do you feel about the cleanliness of it's the metro? It's actually really clean and light. It's a lot cleaner, brighter, lighter than I remember New York City yeah. subway. Um, I feel like it's as busy as it is, as many people we've seen, they're pretty big really open clean. spaces. Yeah, it's clean and open. It feels, feels safe. It feels it safer than New York City. Surprisingly, it hasn't smelled bad. It doesn't even smell like the metro. No. Um, um, been pretty easy pretty to navigate. Easy to follow. The, the color coding, and I've seen lots of signs. So I think once we learn the stop names or symbols, I think I think it'll be fairly easy to use. Luis, are we your favorite YouTubers? Yes. We have made it off the metro. We're in Buena Vista. That's like the name of the neighborhood. Yeah. Okay, we're in the neighborhood of Buena Vista. They're palm trees, so it feels like we're back in Varada almost. We're gonna go check out a library. We're gonna get some food. We're gonna check out a train station. Luis is gonna show us all. We'll resume back with our uh, metro discussion whenever we have to get back home. But so far, pretty easy to use. Uh, obviously, we had Luis with us, but even then, even if you don't speak Spanish, it's pretty easy to use. Yeah, we didn't have to talk to anybody, and it's just symbols and. And, uh, and signs that are easy to read no matter what language you speak. Now let's go to Loeto's favorite place. The library. Just ran into Kike Diaz here. How crazy was that? It. We ran into someone in this this huge city. Uh, now we're gonna head, head back to the metro. Fingers crossed we make it home and you eventually get this video. Uh, a little packed. We have made it home from our very first or second metro experience. We have so many takeaways from uh, just this first experience, so here they are, raw and unedited. <laughs> well, sort of edited, but kind of unedited, whatever. Okay. The first is we would recommend if you feel comfortable using the subway station, um, the subway system in New York City, I think you'd be perfectly fine here in Mexico City. Uh, it's nicely color coordinated. The routes are color coordinated. There's, it works very similarly, similarly to that in New York City. Uh, that said, the stations this weekend at least are really busy Luis told us and so if you don't feel comfortable using the subway in new york city we would not recommend trying a subway station a subway system for your first time in mexico city uh, although it's very similar to new york city there's maybe 10 times the people so it's a bit more hectic and chaotic uh obviously everything's in spanish so um but that said i think it's fairly easy if you're used to any sort of subway system it is i think uh, like Dallas has like the A train or D train or whatever it is. There's like no one uses it, but the system is so bad that it's not very user friendly. This is the opposite. The system I thought was yes. amazing, but it was just really the only. Just the sheer volume of people yeah. is the only thing that made it the least bit hectic. Exactly. And again, I think if after we take the metro for a few times, I think we'll get used to that. Mexico exactly. City in general is just a little bit more, uh, there's a lot more people obviously yeah. than in Vallarta. Uh, the second thing we wanted to mention is that uh, I looked at the routes on my Apple Maps, like iPhone 6 or 4 or whatever, mm -hmm. and I just opened the regular Apple Maps and uh, had me route through the subway system, and it was perfect. It said uh, which direction you need to get on, how you mm -hmm. need to walk to the nearest station, which lines to take, so I think that's a plus for us 
us that we can use our cell phone here, get the right route before we ever leave home, and that way when we get there, it's not a surprise. Right. When um, we don't have when we don't have Luis, we have Siri. Yes. <laughs> Um, what was the next thing? Uh, cost versus... Okay, so it's five pesos uh, once you get down there. And the nice thing is when we had to like change lines today, you don't pay. So that works similarly to New York as well. Once you're down there and once you've paid, um, as long as you stay in the, in the subway station mm -hmm. area, uh, once you're on the platform, I guess, mm -hmm. you don't have to pay again. So I know... Um, in Vallarta, like once you get off the bus and back on, you pay again. So mm -hmm. it sort of works a bit differently. Uh, so it's five pesos, which is very inexpensive. Uh, let's see, it works out to about 25 cents United States dollars, I think about, yeah. thereabouts, maybe a bit more. Um, so five pesos, you can buy the card or you can pay per ticket. However, today the ticket lines for a single use ticket were really long, so it's not any cheaper. Uh, so we put money on a Metro card and mm -hmm. I think um, I think that would be the way to go. And last, just... the last takeaway I think is today we got on two really short routes and I think uh, the trip time took maybe 15 or 20 minutes and I think taking an Uber uh, for a very short ride may be a better option. It's, uh, Luis told us maybe for that same ride would be about 70 or 80 pesos. And obviously yeah. uh, we paid 10 between the two of us. So obviously a lot more expensive, but I think uh, the subway system was a bit hectic and I think it shorter trip wise it may have ended up being about the same time by the time we changed trains walked to the other train mm -hmm. found that platform and switched uh, so I think for longer I'm excited to ride the metro for a longer mm -hmm. ride because I think that's really where you'll get the value and the time saving mm -hmm. uh, money as opposed to sitting in traffic in your uber yeah uh, I think mm, comment below let us know yeah, what you guys we let left us out know what we left out about the metro or like Tell let us, us know all about your metro experiences ours I think we walked in and my face was like this <laughs> because it's like an entire as many people as you guys see on the streets in our video it's just as busy like <laughs> literally under your feet so uh it was very very shocking but i think uh very user friendly at the same time yeah. so i'm glad we tried it uh, so early on so i think that's it we've got today on the uh metro how to <laughs> <laughs> yes thank you guys so much for watching be sure to subscribe to our channel click the bell that way you get a notification. No. Wait, click <laughs> the bell. That way you get notified. See, it's hard, isn't it? Every time. We post a video and we'll see you guys. Manana. And, uh, if, and if you'd like to help support our channel and uh, help the drone yes. fun, go ahead over to our Patreon page. We've got a, a few goodies. A, link below. a few goodies for the Patreons yeah. uh, from time to time. Thank Check you guys. Out. See you tomorrow.